Hey, 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 good day, everybody. This is Chuck with CyberSmart Web Marketing Solutions. And um, I'm going to build a website in this video. And I've been talking about the, uh, the new Blueprint child theme that came out with Builder. And I really like it a lot. I've built one website with it. But um, I want to show you how powerful this Builder is in general. And I'm going to be using this Blueprint theme. And what I'm going to be making, and this is what's great about Builder, is a website that is totally constructed out of widgets um, and and this really t takes things out of the box and over the edge so what you have to do first of all is you have to have builder installed as your base because you don't ever want to edit that okay and then and then you upload a child theme and I have blueprint here and I've already went ahead and configured my my widget areas and I am going to build this is a uh, Chicago Handyman Services website that uh, I've managed to get on page one of Google listings and I'm going to want to sell it. So I'm going to snazz it all up and uh, go step by step. We'll go into the layout engine here real quick and show you how I set up these, these widget areas. And we're going to be using the widget content uh, feature as well in this. Where's layouts? Here they are. Okay, this is my 1,000 home. I've made it uh, custom 1,000 pixels wide because it's easy to uh, break things up. And here I've added my widgets, widget areas, and we'll just go in. I'm going to modify this one real quick just to show you how this works. The number of widget areas that you want. For this one, I've selected one. And uh, you can also break up um, the percentages uh, for example, my top widget, I have uh, the one on the left is 70% and the one on the right is 30%. And in the uh, blueprint theme, you get uh, several different choices as far as, as uh, colors. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to change this widget area to the blue. I really like the blue. And I'll save layout and continue editing. And then now we'll go view this. All right, that looks really sweet. I don't know what all I'm going to do with this, but uh, I'll keep on keep on going. So this is uh, the part one, and uh, we'll do some changes, and I'll come back. Okay, one of the first things that I would like to do here is add a rotating images, and I have this is also made by uh, um, iThemes. It's Display Buddy. There is multiple plugins, but in this one, what I did is um, install the rotating images. And I grabbed a couple images over at iStock. And what you, you can make many different groups, um, and uh, there's even a short code if you want to put it into uh, a page directly rather than into a widget area. But for this one, I just did it into the top left widget area. So this is the rotating images, and it's pretty simple to configure. You can set how large you want it. I have this set for 750 by 250. And um, what else does it have here? It's got fade options, how long you want it uh, to, to fade. It's got a double fade. I like that because it, it ends some of, the, uh, some of the pop. It also has enable a text overlay. Um, if you wanted to put the phone number or have it say, have it say something, um, I got that turned off for right now. But uh, that's one of the first things that I wanted to do with this website was add a rotating images, and I also put a Google ad over there too because I actually make pretty good money off of this off of this website since it is showing up in the top of the search engines. And it's, until I sell it, I'll want uh, at least one Google ad on there. So that's the ne that's the first thing that I've done so far. Okay, moving right along, I've done a few other things here. I've um, added my phone number since I have this website for sale in this widget area. I've uploaded a couple of, of images and filled in these widget areas. And I've also um, added some deals in here too. And I created another style for the other pages. This is the contact page and uh, all the recent blog entries are located on the left hand side here 
And what I want to show you the the widget that I used for this. This is called Spectacular, and what's great about this one, you could use two different widgets for this. This is great if you own like a restaurant and you were always changing your menu items on the home page. And what I would use is widget content for that. And you could actually uh, make widget content and just change it directly in here. But what Spectacular does, that's what I used on this one, is it allows you to pull in and you get your drop down list here of what page you want to install in that widget and whether you want the entire page or just a segment there's a lot of different options for it. it's really a great a great little plug-in widget deal now I haven't done any styling to this whatsoever and I've been working on it about let me refresh this because I took this other widget out it doesn't belong there there we go about I don't know a half hour or so I've put this basic little website together with uh, the Builder Child theme blueprint, which they just came out with, and I really like it. Nice and clean, rounded corners, really, really sweet. But if I wanted to, and I might when I have some more time, is come in here to this Style Manager. This is uh, what really gives Builder some spectacular power. And what this is, it's a CSS editor, and you can do some really cool stuff with this. Um, and it gives you a preview window so you can change your your you can see what what you're changing um, if I wanted to change the site background let's just uh, we'll go to some color here turn the image to none it, it changed the entire site background just that quickly we'll put it back because that's ugly um, widget bar modules this is where you would adjust your spacing um, padding widget titles you can change the text scroll over covers all colors all kinds of things that you can do in here and without having to know any CSS you can make those make those changes so I'm gonna wrap this up for today and just wanted to show you how great builder is for for putting together websites and even though they're templates or child themes how you can totally customize it to suit your needs so I really love it, and I hope you like it too. All right, that's it for today. Peace.